Hey, Brian, how you doing? I'm good, Aaron. How are you? Good. Good to good. see you. Good to see you. You've been doing doing a lot of busy, crazy stuff? Yes. What? And where to begin? I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, uh, people, I've had a lot of friends have had some questions about what you've been through the last couple of years. What what happened to you about, what, about five, six years ago? Yeah, this was back in 2014. Um, had fallen and fractured an ankle that was in january mm -hmm. and then woke up in may uh with being paralyzed on my left side because of finding out uh some vertebrae in the neck were mm -hmm. bad and so on and so we had to have some surgery done there so i was in a wheelchair for just about a year and a half and uh progressing really well doing doing fine and um just going from there trying to trying to get back to the normalness of life as best as I could. So, like, when you say normal, what, what things weren't normal? Things that weren't normal was basically um, using the restroom. A lot of times what I had to have done is had my wife transfer me from my wheelchair to the toilet okay. and then from the toilet back into the wheelchair. Uh, the biggest problem there was finding that... Well, two things. The bathroom door wasn't wide enough, number oh, one, to get the wheelchair okay. in. And then secondly, the toilet not being a proper height to get me down to feel comfortable and or then to get me up off of the toilet comfortably. Um, sometimes it was a real struggle. Mm -hmm. um, that, that was a major issue. So she, you're saying she had to help you then every uh, every time. So you had constantly had to have help. Yes. Oh boy. Even though I had bars installed around the toilet, it was still the toilet just was not high enough in order for me to have enough lift on my own from my legs mm -hmm. to get that movement to actually pull myself up. And part of that was because again the paralyzation of the legs and that left side. So did uh, any products help at all? Did you try to do anything that wise? Or? Uh, we had the the infamous plastic toilet seat riser that actually goes over the top of the toilet with the um, connections that sit onto the porcelain toilet itself. The biggest problem there was it was uncomfortable. Um, I did not feel secure. I felt a lot of times I was going to fall off because it was, of course, having to be smaller in order to fit over the size of what the bowl was. Uh -huh. So that caused a lot of issues of just feeling comfortable sitting on the toilet. So I just, you know, not to be too gross or anything, but like who had to clean that? Because obviously that had to be cleaned constantly. So. Yeah. A lot of times we ended up having to just take it off of the toilet and put it into the bathtub oh, and then spray it down. And um, then we had a portable shower head that came down so that, again, I could take a shower that way. But then also that helped then to, to basically clean that riser to, you know, make it, quote unquote, as sanitary as we, can, we could. Gotcha. So tell me a little bit about your introduction into the, the comfort riser and you know, how did that how did that go and would you think about that as opposed to the to the seats risers it used the main issue with the toilet riser was this i could still have the toilet that we had which gave me the comfortability and the flexibility to be able to move and get up and do what i could do on my own so you're talking and, about the comfort riser yes comfort gotcha. riser gave me that ability so that what happened was is just between either the two or the four inch um, and we tried both to see what was going to be best um, and ended up taking the four inch because getting that height then from the toilet gave me enough mobility then to get up on my own. Um, the problem with the riser, again, it was just uncomfortable. So the seat? The, the seat. seat, yeah. The seat part was, it was horrible. Um, I, I felt... Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm not a small person, <laughs> so the, the, the riser, I mean the, the seat riser, um, was a lot smaller. Okay. So, you know, you're trying to put someone my size onto something that small, um, it's, it, it's like trying to drop an egg through an hourglass. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. Um, and, they, and I felt that same way with the, with the riser sitting on top of the toilet like that. So when, when we went with the riser, the comfort riser on the bottom of the toilet, far more comfortable. I felt secure. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. I felt I didn't have to worry about having someone in there with me to make sure, number one, that I didn't fall off the toilet. Uh, Secondly, then being able to have somewhat more of privacy and a little bit more dignity because when something like that happens, um, you, you lose that sense of dignity because you, you can't do it on your own anymore. You have to have someone there to help you. And that is, that, that sometimes can become very um, frustrating because you want to be able to do things on your own. Mm-hmm. I couldn't. But with the toilet riser, comfort riser, I could. I, I found that to be the, the best solution for the situation in which I was in. So now because it you know, lifts the toilet up to you, it has its own cleaning and you didn't have to clean anymore either, right? <sighs> A toilet still needs to be cleaned, but this sure. was less invasive. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, you you didn't have all of the issues of taking that thing off, having to throw it into the 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 your your shower stall or whatever, and cleaning it. Here, all you basically had to do was just clean the seat and the toilet like you normally do, and that's it. It was done. So let me ask you, what what is your thoughts if you're talking to somebody that's still struggling with a seat riser and just kind of frustrated? What you know, they don't really want to spend more money, but w- what would you say to them? Plain and simple, spend the money. Get the comfort riser. Throw that seat riser away. It, mm. It's horrible. I know they probably don't feel comfortable. I know they probably feel embarrassed when they have people coming over to their home because now all of a sudden they have to do something with this, and, and it's not something that, you know, you, you want to say, oh, excuse me for a moment, I need to go to the bathroom. Um, you don't want to do that unless you really have to. So at that point, you have to move from from sitting there with your, your company and enjoying their, their time to going in and changing your bathroom in order to make it efficient for them. And, and that's, just not, that's just not good. So you're, if I'm hearing you correctly, with the Comfort Riser, you don't really have to worry about anything as far as the bathroom goes because you don't have to explain anything anymore everybody just kind of assumes that it's normal part of the bathroom they walk in they look at the toilet it's normal it's a normal toilet there's there's nothing that looks out of the ordinary Mm -hmm. um they you know they may question this as to oh this toilet looks taller than what normal Mm -hmm. toilets would be and um why is that well that's a perfect opening door to go ahead and say I had to get this in order to make my life more flexible for me so that I could do what I needed to do. So once you have the comfort riser, you don't have to have a special bathroom. Everybody can use the same bathroom. Correct. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Okay. You, you don't have to worry about uh, having your guests, you know, if you have two bathrooms, fantastic. We have one. That bathroom became the bathroom for myself and everybody else. And so that bathroom had to look presentable at all times. And the, the presentable ability of it was to have the comfort riser there so that I didn't have to worry about having my wife going in and taking that off of there or me trying to struggle to get in there to get that seat riser off of there and throw it somewhere. Um, and, and then again, you, you know, by touching it at that point, it, you probably haven't had time to clean it. So you know, there you are touching something that's uh, unfortunately, having bacteria and other issues with it, you're throwing that into your shower stall. So you're going to have to clean the shower or the bathtub. And then you're washing your hands and hoping that you're getting all of the bacteria and everything off of your hands and everything else that you need to at that point. So if I hear you correctly, your relationship with your wife has improved. Yes. So she doesn't have to do all the stuff she used to. Yes. Okay. I, I enjoyed her coming in there and spending that time with me. Yeah. <laughs> but then on the other hand, it's like sometimes there's just certain things that sure. um, happen gotcha. in the bathroom that you um, prefer to you keep want to, to be yourself. alone. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Ryan. I appreciate you letting us come into, into your home and, sure. and talk to you. And we appreciate you sharing your, your story sure. very much. Thanks. All right.